Hi, everybody. It's Diane Evans with StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada. So if you do live in Canada, I have such an amazing thing that I have to tell you about. Um, it's celebration time, and I'm actually just going to jump on right on down to my screen here. And let's get going, and let me talk to you about celebration. The new JDD mini catalog has come out and it's amazing, but always when you get, um, when it's celebration time, that's when it's so exciting. Um, I can now show you the inside of the catalog. There's adorable things, but what I really want to talk to you about is this item that's at the back and it's making plans collection. Now this is part of a starter kit promotion and honestly, to join the community of Stampin' Up! and to join my team is, it's so much fun. Like, yes, you get a discount. You get your 20% discount right off the bat. Um, but what you can also get is this amazing um, making plans collection. And let me show you. And once you see this, you're going to go, oh, my goodness. Um, here in Canada, the starter kit is $135. You get $165. It's free shipping. There may be taxes depending on what province that you live in Canada, but this Making Plans collection is what I'm so excited about. All right, so this is what you get along with that um, $165 worth of stuff for $135. You also get all of this. And let me show you this. It's, it's amazing. What it is, is it's a journal. Um, so it has this beautiful Stampin' Up, the, the flowers with Stampin' Up and everything else. And it's it's got dividers in there, a place to put your pen, different little groups here, you know, like slits here for different things. But and then pouches in here. But this you can customize this. And that's the beauty of it is that you can actually customize how this is going to look. So let's see the other things that you're going to get in here. And then let's just play and put it together for a bit. So the other thing that you get is a stamp set. Um, this is a photopolymer stamp set. It has different things on here. Um, you can use this if you're going to do this as a business. It's thank you for your order. Um, wish list you, you can do. You can set goals. You can do some bullet um, journaling banners, just a lot of different things. And of course, there's the angel policy as well, where the um, copyrighted stamping up. But you can make lists. If you're a list person, I'm a big, big list person. So that's kind of a fun thing. You also get with this, you get three notebooks. So you get just a regular blank notebook. And depending on what you're going to use your journal for or this um, thing for, I I'm going to use mine for not only um, with different things that I have to do, but I'm going to use mine as an inspirational thing. I'm going to use it as um, if I think of something to do, then I can jot down and do a quick picture with it. So you get that notebook. Then you get this, which is a lined notebook. And then you get a bullet journal. I haven't really gotten into bullet journals, but they do intrigue me. And I think I would try it. I think it's because I'm not artistic is the reasoning for that. Okay, so remember, these don't fit into the binder, but they can be a, like accessories too. And then check out all these pages. Now, this was designed, um, and they have, let's go to the back here. This is designed um, for um, a year and a half uh, agenda. So I would start like, because it's July the 1st, I would start with, you know, it's funny because here we go. Um, you're gonna start with July, August, September, and I'm just using the months. And of course they have the bullet journals on the back. And I think this could be dry erasable. You could use this for dry erasable, but then you've also got these other dividers for January, February, whatever way that you decide to do. And I think they were, it was ingenious the way that they decided to let it be where you could put your own sort of things in there. So I'm just gonna do July to, 
And I'm just going to actually just put those in there like that. Like I say, all customized. If this is a, there's a different way that you want to do this, by all means, you can go ahead and do that. All right. So then if you are like into journals and that sort of stuff, so you could have where you have your monthly focus, um, important days within the month, your goals, things to remember. If you have a shopping list, if there's something that, you know, if you have to pick up prescriptions and what are you excited about? So you could like even do this as a journal saying, I'm really excited this month about celebration or I'm really excited because next month I'm going to New Orleans. Then it has a calendar, uh, uh, open up calendar for July. And then it also has my weekly priorities. So I could have other ones that go with that. And then, of course, there's August and it goes all the way to all the different months. So, of course, I'm going to want to put that in in the proper order. But like I say, it'll be at the point where I decide that maybe what I want to do is not have I don't want to put them all in together um, because then that that would take up too much space where I want the monthly parts to be done. So we have a 2022 and a 2023. So those are going to go into my calendar. But I'm thinking to myself that I think what I might want to do is just go um, August to, let's see, December. And then I can leave January and everything else. So I would do that. But then I'd want to put that calendar in there. And then I would put these pieces and um, parts to the side. Then what's also in here are is a creating purpose. Like what are your values? What are your passions and your skills? And then looking ahead, what different things that you want to do looking ahead. So that's kind of neat. Like I say, there's weekly priority. There's quite a few of those. So um, I would imagine there's one for each one of those um, weeks that are coming in the next um, 18 months. So you have all those. I think I'll put this be nice in there. And then what else have we got in here? I guess say so much stuff. And lots of ways to write. You could do a monthly review, what's happened with it, what you accomplished. And like I say, this could be in anything. This does not have to be, and, and you don't have to do this as a Stampin' Up! business. Like I say, you can join my team just to get the discount and stay for the fun because the community of um, being um, with the Stampin' Up! is amazing. So I would put all of those to one side. And then, of course, then we've got some different things that you can go. This could be inspirational things. You can say, okay, I've got a certain um, thing to do and I want to do a card. Or you could list all the different cards that you have to do for the whole year, right? Um, so those are all, and they're kind of all like they're all put together like that. And then there's another one here with lists. I love lists. And they have bullets on there. Um that sort of stuff so that's a lot of fun oh my goodness like I say and lots of pages lots of different things that you can do with it then also what's included in here are stickers and these are the beautiful stamping up things and and you know what they're kind of a different sort of sticker there they they feel like a linen finish but you can put all your different things with different um arrows um, for us, it would be like an event if we have ordering, if we've got um, all this sort of stuff. But that's kind of fun. Um, so like I say, what a great, great um, thing that you could actually do and have it where you can put all of this in your, your journal. And you could go ahead and for every month, you would go and put this in. So I would just go ahead put in my July and I'll start doing my July, but I want to do mine as an inspirational thing. I want to do it as my creative, um, like a creative journal. I want to make sure that I've got different things that I can put in there. So with my um, stickers, what I would do is I think I'd probably put them in the back so that I can go and add those anytime that I want to. I might just put one of each in there. 
attachment. Let's do that. And then, of course, I could also put my different um, journals in there. I, I plan out six months, but a lot of times, too, you might be planning out longer, like different trips and that sort of stuff into the future. So what do you think of that? Is that not a fantastic? Like, what a great way to be... Um, to sign up and get this for free, just just for free, right? So like I say, here in Canada, you would spend um, $165 on your starter kit. Um, you only pay $135. You may have to pay tax depending on the province that you're in. You will have to, um, um, and then you will pick out exactly what you want to pick out. You do not have to pick certain things. You could turn around and just buy paper if you wanted to buy paper. And then also, then after that, your next order will be at 20% off. And then you can um, earn some of these fantastic celebration things. We have these cute little hippos in here. This Rings of Love designer series paper is amazing. Um, you've got some cards and envelopes, some sketchy type um, stamps. We've got some paper, um, foil paper. We've got word stamps, really great variety. This one's kind of fun. It's got the bowler trailer that you can do that corresponds with a um, stamp set from the JDD mini catalog. And then of course this beautiful set that comes with, um, uh, it's called Wonderful World and it has beautiful designer series paper of this. I will be showing a lot of this along the way, but I really, like I say, wanted to show you this. This, um, honestly, this is just amazing. I, like I say, I, I can't think enough of different things that you can sit there and do with this particular set. So if you have any questions or anything like that, um, make sure that you reach out to me. This is um, where you would um, join to join my team, the Dragonfly Crafting Divas. Uh, we have a great team, a great community. We do lots of challenges each and every month. Um, we, we just actually just had a, um, a lunch and we'd stamp together. So finally we got together to do some of that sort of stuff. So pay attention in the next two months, you have two months to get, take advantage of this or it's while quantities last. And if there, you have any questions at all, just reach out to me and I would love to answer any of your questions. So um, happy stamping and we will talk to you all very, very soon. Um, so bye for now.